thing is broken. This thing is broken. Oh, and this thing that we as a community say is broken, apparently is not broken, but it feels like it's broken. Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the Marvel Contest of Champions News for Friday, or, or I should now call it the anniversary and everything scuffed news. Because that's largely how it feels that I'm going to be addressing this particular news show as. Lots of research for the last few hours. I've been in the forums. I've been grabbing different posts, going to Twitter, grabbing posts as well. So we've got a load of stuff to go over, give you stuff and keep you well informed with what's going on thus far. Also, I came across a really weird statistic. There's 49.5% of you that are not subscribed but still watch my content. Subscribing to a channel is free and that would be amazing if you could do that. It does help towards getting better numbers and as well helping out the channel as well be seen and recommended. So please consider hitting the subscribe button and post notifications on all. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. Also, it looks like over 1.2% viewers in the 55 to 64 years of age demographic. If this is correct, it probably means that my dad has finally got a computer, the internet, and may have given launch codes to another country, which he shouldn't have. And on that revelation, it's time to give thanks. Thank you so much to those that support the channel through the means of YouTube memberships, and as well Patreon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as well those that support on Twitch. I'll be back live streaming some Cavalier difficulty and then Arena over on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. Links are in the description. And thank you so much to those that do the Prime Gaming sub once a month to myself. And, you know, it's not auto-renewal, so thank you very much for doing that effort and going the extra mile to do that once a month. It is very much appreciated. And those that give tier 1 subs and all the support that people give over on that platform. And, uh, yeah, see you later on for the streams. Okay, where do you start with the scuff? Now, if you know, if you are about the streams yesterday, you'll know that I did a couple of live streams. I'm going to take those live streams down. I'm going to turn one of them into a highlights video, as I thought there was a lot of kind of good comedy moments and a lot of laughs, and we were vibing a bit, so that's really what I'm doing with that. And the thing with this is that it's not fun, really. Even though like I was doing, being like energetic and, ent and trying to entertain as much as possible, it's not fun. This is meant to be the sixth anniversary. It's meant to be about the celebration of the game. If Caban bit off more than they can chew of what they put into the game, then that is just no, it's, it's on them. I'm not very good with the arena side of things, to a degree. We'll talk about that in a minute. So first of all, let's cover the stuff. Initially starting off with Spider-Ham's piggy bank. As it says over the banner here, Spider-Ham's piggy, Spider piggy bank is disabled. The feature is being temporarily disabled while the team works to fix an issue that occurred with it. Thank you for your patience while we work to resolve this. This has been backed up by Kaban Mike, who on Twitter did say, uh, yes, we had an issue with it and had to put it down. We're working on it, but it, I wouldn't expect it back this month. So it's not going to be back this month. Uh, that's disappointing. There's also a further issue with this. So I was scouting around to see like if there's been any, any further developments, anybody talked about this, and I found something that's really bad. In that someone was able to grab this and spend this, and it has had the money removed from their account. So this is the point where, you know, this is a difficulty because if you ask for a refund from something with MCOC, you get spanked with those credits or those uh, minus units. So would that negatively affect this person by claiming it or what is going to happen down the line? I really think Kabam should respond back to this one as this is, this is this will be bad because it's, again, negatively or could negatively affect the player going forward. Like, you don't want to have that, those minus units on you for a refund and you're just about to go into stuff like the gifting event or, and you know, uh, buying stuff for the uh, Christmas Day deals. So look, not, not good. Not particularly uh, a big fan of how this kind of went down. There's a lot of stuff, by the way. I hopefully have put time codes to like all the different and various problems that have gone down. What solutions are going to be uh, are being like done? And because there's a litany, a litany. If you don't know what litany is, it's a whole load of problems going on. Kamam aren't even in a position to answer every single problem. We've got people trapped in abyss for God's sakes, and now they've lost their run in abyss. It is, um, it's worse. It's a lot worse. It's taking me a while to get together all of this scuff into one particular video to kind of discuss it so yeah hit the like button everybody hit the like button support get well informed with mcoc news now what i thought we'd do is continue on from that and as i said someone's trapped in the abyss and somebody was so i got this message yesterday i've blurred out a few things or removed a few things because they're, they're personal information and stuff so just to say that they got stuck in abyss the response from kabam was we would like to thank you for taking the time to submit your concern to us we're currently experiencing a large number of contacts regarding this specific issue not this one in particular because there was people stuck in other content and they were just kicked out of it 
This is this is bad. When you're doing an abyss run, you want it to be perfect. You don't want any stuff like this, especially when it's going to kick you out of abyss part way through. You lose your time. You lose your units. You lose your revives. With that being said, we did want to let you know that we are currently investigating your concern. As soon as we have an update, we'll be among the first to know. In the meantime, if you have any concerns or questions regarding the separate matter, then please feel free to submit another case, and we would like uh, we would be more than happy to do it. anyway. Whatever. The the fact is, this does need to be dealt with. I've asked for a few people to send me things like tickets. I think we had another incident last night in the stream. And I just said to people, if you can get hold of me and DM me uh, the ticket numbers, it's just so that I can keep up to date with this and make sure there's pressure applied. Because this is a lot of, lot, there's a lost unit, there's a lost stash. And as well, I think the, the most kind of worst thing for me, like stashes can be refunded, right? Time cannot be. So those hours that could have been spent doing Abyss, they will not be refunded back to the player. And that's that's the big concern here with stuff like this. Because it's an important run. I would hate to think if this was me and I was doing my Abyss run and part way through, five, five hours in, maybe even more, that I then get bumped out and I'm like, this is just unacceptable. And I, I think there definitely has to be some sort of like just compensation. Um, you know, I don't know what you could you compensate time for uh, with this, but... You know, something's got to be given here. I guess the next thing we've got to talk about is arena points and the arena. Okay, thoughts on the arena. Now, my, my thoughts kind of differ from a lot of other players. And I think this is just based on the fact I have already cultivated a two-star roster back about four to five years ago. So having a two-star roster that has max in it, because, you know, back in the day, there was... There was only two stars. If you've seen my anniversary picture on Twitter, you'll know that two stars were the um, were one of the go-to champions to grab, especially for arena grinding. There wasn't a huge amount of arenas. Man, five-star arena? Jesus Christ, that was that was that was a pipe dream, people. That was a pipe dream. Either way, the point with this arena is it's seven days as opposed to three days. Slightly good, but also slightly bad, especially if you don't have the two-star roster. If you've not prepared a roster for stuff like Variant 4, then largely you may be a newer player to the game. Even from the sense of like, even like three to two to three years. But that's the thing, if Kabam, and this is the thing we said about before, if Kabam present the ideology that you are having more of, it's the, Cavalier, the Cavalier title and titleages are more easy to obtain. You are not cultivating an expansive roster enough in order to, uh, in order to do stuff like this. And that's a problem or you're not interested in ranking up two stars. And that, again, is the same thing. So Kabam needs to put in more content to then make that more of a thing. Or ramp up the points. That's really the point we're going to come to. We're going round circle to that. Points. Yes, it would have been better for them to put the points in. Are they going to change it? No, they've been very adamant they are not going to change this. So you have to make a decision. Do you want to do this? Do you have the time? Or do you have the care to actually do this? For me personally, I have the roster and... I will be doing a video later on that looks towards well, if you have a limited two-star roster, what is possible and how many fights it will take. So look out for that video later on. But I just want to, instead of like pointing out the problem, I want to give you a little bit of a solution if I can at the same time. Or look at ways around if this is worth doing. So yeah, look out for that video later on. And what a Kabam have to further say on the matter. And as I said, Kabam aren't going to throw you a bone, so you have to make the decision, do you want to grind it or not? Especially with sentiments like this. The arena is still available. This is the next step up and definitely takes some more dedication. So, Kabam aren't changing their mind on it. And unfortunately, it's going to have to be up to you whether or not you feel you want to do this. Uh, yeah. Uh, and even like, and I, symp I do sympathize. Like, when I'm going to be grinding this out, I will be grinding this out in two hour stints at times when I'm watching a movie at the weekend. Me and Em will probably watch a movie. Uh, for two hours, I'll grind out this arena and I'll make a small dent and then I'll have to make other small dents over the course of seven days at two hours a time. I have a job and kids and can't throw enough time to get these milestones. And it's like, well, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. That's that's still the thing. You know, I'm recording this video now when I could be grinding arena. You've got to you've got to find time. And it's like, if Kabam, I'm, I'm throwing you a bone. This is this is the sucky thing. They need to learn from this in the future if they plan to do this. I don't know why they didn't do this with the other arena, but it's a bit of an L with this anniversary. And we're going to talk about more problems. And I was sent through this by a player. Now, I'm not going to reveal the name or the person because I will keep this um, this person's name you know, silent because they don't want any grief. And at the same time, you know, this may work or may not. They got multiple anniversary gifts. Now, whether or not these can be claimed, I haven't 
con being able to confirm. I have asked a question to uh, to this player, and I get to find out. Were they able to get these multiple times? Like, were they able to, based on this, get 15,000 six-star shards and 45,000 five-star shards? I think this is a glitch because, again, we're going to talk about some glitches in a minute. But there are also players that are not getting any anniversary gifts. Yeah, not getting any gifts. I run two accounts on two devices. I log into secondary account today to see I didn't receive an anniversary gift. I got the Titan and Profile Pick, yet no anniversary shard gift. It's a Cav account, so I find it a bit weird. Am I the only one that's happened to this? Oh, yeah. Um, and again, more of the same problems of people getting like restacked six anniversary titles. It's just uh, it's just one thing after another here with this, where it's just on. It's either on repeat, or they're not getting an anniversary gift. Not good. Don't know what that's all about. By the way, this is nothing to do with the holiday gift. The holiday gift is something separate. So yeah, not good. You know, it's just a litany, a litany. Now I've been trying to search for a response on this, but there's nothing yet. This is all very early on in the day. I will more than likely be making a follow-up video. I kind of thought to myself, right, we'll cover this now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to make a video later on, depending on what the responses are. Kabam of Vancouver, currently everyone's asleep in Vancouver, so expect any kind of answer close to about, uh, well, 7 p.m. UK time, maybe even later. I don't think you're going to get an answer. It may not even be today, but we'll have to see what goes down. Definitely not the anniversary Kabam hoped for, and definitely not the anniversary I think a lot of us of the community hope for. Let's be some good stuff, but there's... Uh... Now, there is a Kabam Valiant that is taking control of the forums in that place. But here's the thing, I don't know if Kabam Valiant would be a member of the team to actually kind of like answer back on any of this stuff. Especially may, it may need a more higher up to kind of like deal with this, which like if it's Vancouver time, then, you know, it's not going to be until later on that uh, we get an answer, as I said. Right, now quickly moving on to Epoch Shard territory. As a lot of you know, we're waiting for Epoch Shards to come in. There's been so many things that have gone wrong that it's now impacted on further stuff being addressed. With Kabam Boo saying, we apologize that this is taking longer than expected. We have had a few other pressing matters of late, but our team is working on getting this out as soon as they can. We appreciate your patience. Guys, let me know if any anyone does or does not get Epoch Shards to let us kind of know like what is going on. Also, there was kind of this thread about like, can Epoch crystal, Crystals be permanent? And then as you kind of like scroll down, uh, Kabam Boo does answer, what is a good thing if it has no end? With that said, your feedback has been duly noted. So I don't know if that alludes to us kind of like teasing maybe Epoch Shards are going to be somewhat permanent. Personally, I would love the idea of being able to pick and choose my cav that I bought. Imagine that instead of you kind of buying with units, you instead of buying unit, like units, you buy the um, the featured six stars or featured sorry, featured uh, crystals. That instead you buy featured cavaliers, you buy the Epoch Shards, and then you get to pick and choose what you wanted. Because a lot of times our players going like, oh, when's the Aegon one drop? Or when's the Apocalypse one drop? Or when's the Cosmic Ghost Rider one? When's this one? When's that one? Can I have a shot at Doctor Doom? And all the other ones as well. It gives you that um, opportunity to pick your own. Pick your poison, so to speak. So that would be nice if it did return. Also, I think with the, the store being still around in-game and the time that it took to do it, wouldn't it be better for them to... And as well, I think we've got like an odd amount of uh, Epoch Shards to what people bought. Wouldn't it be good to, to have another event? And maybe Command will do a future event. That would be good. Imagine, imagine if you will, the Epoch Shards were in the yearly specific milestones for the arenas coming up. That's a theory that I might have, but we'll dissect that a little bit later on. Now, we did plan for this Marvel Quantity Champions news to have more of a, a like a cool ending. We'd talk about this particular story and then do a little bit of art corner. It's a bit, so I kind of like I've put all the kind of the terrible and bug stuff to the first part of the video. Now let's talk about some positive or interesting stories. So I posted this, which is like a happy sixth anniversary to everybody. I thought I'd just post this to kind of uh, get a shout back to my first ever MCOC video, which is back in June of 2015, all those uh, years ago. And as well, the interesting thing was this image here. And I was like looking and thinking like, I thought I saw like a watcher, like a, like a watcher just like right here. Um, but no, this was this was kind of a, a mask. And I was still like confused about what the mask was all about. Like what, what, because this is an old crystal, uh, old crystal kind of uh, like vault, so to speak. So we got uh, Captain America shield. I believe that's Magic's sword and that's Thor's hammer. Of course, that's Mjolnir. 
But um, what was the purpose of the head? And the interesting side of things is that it got a response from Gabriel Frazera. And it's always interesting to know what's going on with this stuff. So he says, um, sorry, no watching this one. The face inside the case is a ritual mask worn by the natives of the battle realm, Aegon's people. That is really interesting. Didn't know that. See, I would love to see more of a story. Now, I did put um, a question, but I, don't, I think Gabriel is responding to, 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 to Mr. King. And my interest was more of like a historical fact. Like he's seen the historical side of Aegon. And maybe there was, because I believe all these people got wiped out, I want to say, in the Champion Motion comic or in that kind of story arc. So if there maybe somebody survived, miraculously survived, and maybe was, you know, I don't know, mad at Aegon for abandoning his people, something like that. Uh, I just thought it would be nice to do like a, if, if they had like a further expansion on the story arc. But Gabriel Fazera says uh, in response, maybe related to the gap between his origin and the present. And Gabriel Fazera comes back with, yes, most definitely. And that is something really exciting. Aegon has actually gone down as probably the the best champion produced by Kabam. It's got to be the best. It's got to be one, if not is, the best champion. But at the same time, best when it, call, when it comes to story arc. I like Morningstar story arc, but I feel that there's more that could be opened up. For Aegon, it would be exciting to return back and as well add maybe a, a new, a, like a relative, a brother, a tribal chief, a uh, known villain that's a Caban created character. That would be amazing, and I hope that Caban would do that in the future and as well to expand on this story and as well the meaning behind some of the masks and stuff like that. I just thought this was quite interesting and uh, as well to kind of top off the sixth anniversary. And talking of topping off the sixth anniversary, let's do a little bit of Art Corner. There is a lot in Art Corner and based on the time, I want to cover a good chunk of it and then we'll do the rest next week. Kicking off with Stark Spidey's Spider-Ham. Look at that, that's so cool. Cage has got some kind of like three Amigos vibe. I'm pretty certain it's like, is this Woody Woodpecker? Uh, I know that's uh, Donald Duck, but I'm not quite sure what the other one is. That's still pretty cool. We got a brilliant Hulk done by Corey DeGoat. And finally, we got this amazing couple of images, detailed ones. Thanks to, to Rudrank for posting these. These are done by Piersh or Piersley. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, it's Lazy Boy over on the Contest of Champions Reddit. And as well, there we go. That's that's pretty that's pretty amazing. Look at the, the element of detail. Even just so small as looking at the little kind of like bits of the armor as the armor folds and kind of it's, it's, it's cut in different ways and a mo I just it's so good. That has been Marvel Contest of Champions news for Friday. Sorry, it's not a an overly positive news. I've balanced out best I can, but yeah, it's not not good with, with some of the stuff of the sixth anniversary. Very disappointing. But the, great for the stuff that we've been able to get, like the uh, the anniversary gift. Although there are people without it, but um. Yeah, been a little bit annoying. Use the anniversary boost as much as you can. Next week's variant six, and hopefully we get some sta stability with the game. Uh, and then gifting event on the 21st. Something to look forward to. And I'll see you all very, very soon in another video.